All right, so today we're here to talk about the Zomai Q555, Zomei Q555, Zomi Q555, this tripod right here. This tripod is lightweight. It is 2.9 pounds, and I believe that is including the ball head that comes on it. Um, without the ball head, it's just ridiculously light, maybe a pound. My goal in getting a tripod and buying this tripod was to find a travel tripod, a lightweight travel tripod that I could bring on hikes like these coming four and a half miles plus. I wanted something that was definitely light that I could definitely easily bring with me on these hikes. And I didn't want to pay ridiculous prices. Sorry, Manfrotto, um, your travel tripod is just too expensive. So. I got this Zomai Q555 lightweight travel tripod. So when I was looking for a tripod, I was looking for a few things. I was looking for something that could completely invert, legs could completely invert, like so, because I find that these tripods that have invertible legs can, can compact down to a smaller size. So this is only 17.5 inches when it's all folded up. Um, and it, fits in a small carrying case that's about 18 inch carrying case and or you can put it on the back of your bag like I do and it really doesn't weigh you down at all I take the ball head off and I put it in my bag and uh, the tripod hangs off the back and, it, and I barely feel it there not only was I looking for a lightweight easy to carry invertible leg tripod I needed this tripod to also be strong I needed it to be able to not only have my um, have this ball head on it with my camera and microphone and to be able to maneuver easily. I also needed it to be able to hold my Manfrotto 502 fluid motion video head. So that's a pretty heavy head. I don't know if you if you're not familiar with it. It's about a five pound head. So it's definitely got some weight to it and. Um, this, this tripod does the job, it does it with no real issues. The legs do flex a little bit, but all in all, it works perfectly when I'm spinning the fluid motion head. This tripod holds up to the task and doesn't shake all over the place. And if it did, I also have the option of hanging my bag or something off of this to stabilize the tripod even more so, so it can handle that turning of the of the fluid motion head even easier also because i do mostly video i wanted my tripod to be able to be pretty tall so i wanted it to be able to be around my eye level because when you're filming you want your tripod to be at about eye level that's you want it to be as if somebody's talking to you so that's what i was looking for and this tripod goes to a maximum of 62 inches, which isn't quite eye level, but if I take this and I move this up, then it can be eye level just fine. And even at the lowest setting, if I'm using my Manfrotto 502B video head, it sits about this much higher, which puts it at about eye level when I'm using it which is perfect, just what I'm looking for. A lot of the lighter weight travel tripods only go to say 52 inches or even 57 inches. This one's 62, so it's definitely not bad. And you're talking about a $70 price range, so you have to take that into consideration. And I think this tripod holds up extremely well to its competitors, even for being a cheap Er, tripod. The last thing I'm looking at when I was looking for a tripod was I wanted it to have a decent ball head. I had a fluid motion um, tripod head, but I wanted a good ball head for when I'm doing photography. For such a cheap tripod, for a $70 tripod, this ball head is actually extremely good. I haven't had any issues with it. It locks down very well. It's very secure. Um, I haven't had any problems. It can rotate, pan for good panorama shots or video. So now the downsides. So the downsides of this tripod that I've noticed so far, which is not many, especially for the price. These clasps, which click into place, these don't feel like they are sturdy. So they haven't given me any issues yet, and I'm hoping that they don't ever. These clips are made out of plastic, but they've been locking into place fine, so I haven't had any issues yet with them, but I assume at some point I will have an issue with them. 
This is a lightweight aluminum travel tripod, so you can't expect it to be the most stable tripod in the world, and it's not. So once it's in place, So once this tripod's in place, it's pretty sturdy. It's not, it's not going anywhere. I haven't gotten any shakiness from wind or anything like that. Um, it's definitely not the most sturdy tripod on planet Earth, being a lightweight aluminum tripod extended to the maximum length. Depending on how much weight you have on the top of here, the legs can bow a little bit, especially if you have them on the outward position like that, if they're going further out like so, it's going to, bend a little more um, and that's just bound to happen with a lightweight travel tr aluminum lightweight travel tripod aluminum lightweight travel tripod like I said haven't had any stability issues yet even with my 502b head that I have for it so all in all the good it's light it's definitely light it's too 0.9 pounds super light the ball head's been super good so far I haven't had any issues with it like I said I've been using it pretty often like almost daily for a month now and no issues with that the legs can bow a little bit the clips seem a little bit weak but all in all it is a light awesome travel tripod that is amazing for the price it's the best deal I found for $70 honestly I was looking at tripods that were 200 plus Travel tripods are super expensive. So to find one that's $70 and that does the job and does it well, you can't beat that. The Zomai, Zom Zomi, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce the name still, but it's the Q555 Lightweight Travel Tripod. I definitely recommend it. I think that it is one of the best budget tripods out there. I did a lot of research prior to purchasing this one. I don't have anything to really complain about. I will keep you updated though. All right, guys, so until next time, I will be doing these reviews of my equipment a little bit more often because I've been getting more and more equipment as I continue on this journey. If you want to see more reviews about my camera gear, campgrounds that I stay at, RV tips, RV tricks, travel vlogs like I am making out here in this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lake on the top of a mountain, then subscribe to my channel. I put out videos every Monday and Wednesday. I'm considering putting out videos on Friday now too. Actually, this might even be the first Friday video. So, subscribe to the channel, like this video if you enjoyed it, if you got anything from it, and until next time guys, I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you later.